My grandfather had been a councillor for Petworth Rural District Council and I thought the time had come when I would like to do something for my community and help with the community's future. There was an election and I stood and got on as a representative for Petworth and uh, I've been there ever since. The key for me is I wanted to make a difference uh, for our residents uh, and I recognise the value of doing that, particularly within local government. I became a county councillor in 2013 and the main reasons for becoming one is to serve the people of Havensee, the town that I lived in uh, for the past 35 years. It's speaking up for people, it's speaking up for people who don't necessarily have a strong voice and I think that's so important. It's bringing my residents that I represent views to this council. One of your real roles as a councillor is actually to make sure that they aren't overlooked, that you're there to point out what's fair, um, you know, you're there to say what needs to be improved, um, you're making sure that, you know, that they're getting a fair hearing. I've just come out of my residence surgery, I was talking with residents about a number of things right from quite small issues around a tree on a particular residential street through to things like Brexit. The most rewarding thing about being a county councillor is actually being able to make a difference. So from small things, from people that have issues just on their doorstep, to quite wide, county-wide things that you can actually change and make a difference for. One is dealing with the individual if they come to you with a problem uh, that they can't solve. The second thing is actually having a, a much bigger strategic aim on the whole of policies in West Sussex. So how we approach the education system, what roads we should be building and having a say in that on, on the big picture. Uh, um, both are equally fulfilling but in totally different ways. We had somebody coming with a long-standing issue around, around highways relating to a planning application. We've seen them probably monthly for an update over the last six months or so. It's a really useful way to, to meet people and catch up on some of the issues in the village. Well, the public role that you need to uh, have is being a people's person to start with and to listen to the issues and understand the issues of uh, the, the general public uh, of your area. And that is the key to being successful as a county councillor. Being a county councillor and working full time does have its challenges, um, but it's all about managing your time really. Um, I work uh, four or five different jobs. One of my pieces of advice is, is if you've got a spouse or a significant other, um, I think it's a very good idea to talk to them about it first. It isn't always easy because the most important thing in my life is my family. But I do have a lot of support at home. When I get back from council work, I'm very keen to sit in the garden. When I was first approached by someone to stand as a county councillor, I didn't think I'd be able to do it because I had three young children, including a two-year-old, um, and I said no. Um, but actually, after a while, I realised it might work around my family life, and it's proved that it, I've proved that it does, actually. So that makes that plus being a county councillor. Uh, can be quite time consuming, but as long as you plan your day and you plan your week, then it's worth it. I have most of my meetings in um, the daytime, which means I can fit them in around the school run at each end of the day, which is great. I get to spend that time with my, my family um, that I would anyway. Occasional evening meetings, um, but County Council has childcare allowances for people in, in my situation, so I can get the babysitting that I may need. It just seems to work pretty well with family life. When I talk to councillors, I see real passion I feel a real desire to want to be able to make change and to enable that change to happen. There's much less travelling than there was before, particularly if you have commitments both in your local area and at County Hall. Previously, all County Council meetings, virtually all, were held in Chichester, which is a long way from some parts of the county and travel could take an hour, two or three. Doing everything on Zoom or Teams and other virtual platforms, people don't have to travel to Chichester because they can sit in the comfort of their kitchen, their office or their sitting room and take part in a meeting. Of course, it means missing out on the social contact with other members. But in terms of allowing all members to contribute, um, it's made it much easier. We have a number of, uh, of councillors who already represent really diverse communities. We need to strengthen that 
because their views are important and their lifestyles are important for us to be able to meet their needs. We have the elections coming up soon for the County Council and it's vital we have as much diversity as many different people from different uh, walks of life uh, that stand to be elected uh, for the people of West Sussex. I would say go for it. Um, obviously find out uh, what is entailed in becoming a County Councillor. Um, don't just go into it uh, uh, blind. So talk to an existing councillor or councillors, to people who've done it, perhaps retired from it, and find out what the job really entails um, and do make sure that you are able to fulfil the time commitment. I would encourage, regardless of political persuasion, every member who feels they could come to this council and represent their residents uh, to come in and exercise that influence of being a county councillor. I lost my first election, but that didn't stop me from being determined to win. And I won the hearts of the people of uh, Hewensy Town. So I encourage all walks of life to come along, uh, be a member and give it a go. It is rewarding.